Hey guys, Intimidation. Coming at you from Black Diamond Mines, California, in Antioch, and showing you a little Dory Mermex nest that I found. And today is March 4th, 2011. <clears throat> and this is the first activity I've seen um, from ants waking up from spring. Obviously, Pernelopus in Paris is awake. Uh, they've been awake pretty much all winter. But these little Dory Mermex are uh, just waking up. Uh, Dory Mermex is in the same family as the Argentine ant, which is Dolichodirinae, and it is quite frankly almost identical to, uh, to Argentine ants. Uh, Linopithema humile is the Argentine ant, and I'm showing you this because this is an example of probably a lot like what Argentine's ants' true nature is. Uh, they have really tiny colonies in Argentina, and they, they're probably very close to one another, but they don't get much larger than probably 300 or 400 individuals, and uh, Dory Mermex is pretty much the same. In its native habitat, so one can only logically assess that maybe Dory Mermex has the same potential to be an Argentine ant threat somewhere else in the globe if they were to be spread and have a choke point for their gene pool as uh, Argentine ants do. But uh, I thought you guys might be interested in that. So, yeah, little Dory Mermex. Probably about two or three millimeters each worker. Uh, I've caught this. I've caught a. I've caught a single queen of this species before, and they're pretty slow growing. I, I don't uh, didn't have much uh, success raising the colony, but I'll try again this year. This year, if I find a queen. So, all right, guys. How's it going, guys? Um, it's giving you a perspective view of a uh, Pogona Mermix colony, and uh, this is a, a very typical scene in Northern California, or anywhere Pogona Mermix resides. Um, they collect very various colored pebbles, but almost relatively the same size, and they decorate the outside of the nest with it. And they only do this when they get a certain size. Um, I'm willing to bet that this is a pretty mature colony. Um, Pogan or Mermex is pretty deceptive when it comes to that sort of thing. You can't really tell that they're they're mature until you come during the spring when they're you know they have mating flights and you just you don't you still don't see a lot of ants, but they're they're down there. You know, um, this population is probably probably in the oh I don't know. Um, 300, 400 range. Uh, they're not as big, they don't have as large a colonies as Messer. But this is a pretty common sight. This is all, all this fine gravel. They gather this up and they put it around the nest. Here's the entrance right here. And uh, I can see some workers in the background kind of gathering up pebbles. And uh, every night they'll take a pebble and they'll block the entrance to their, to their nest with it. So that kind of keeps invaders out during the night. Uh, this is pretty str relatively strictly uh, diurnal uh, foraging species. Um, I'm I could take a guess at the species. It's probably either Occidentalis or Subdentatus, which is pretty common in this area. Um, yeah, just thought you guys want. I wanted to see that. But, uh, yeah. 
lot of activity for this early in spring. So, all right, moving on.